welcome back to our channel so guys today we are going to create this threaded flange in solid work so let's see how we do this and uh, we design this threaded flange in solid work and in this video i will tell you so many commands threaded boss boss base threaded features uh, student cut and many more so look how we do this in solid work so here we uh, see the section view of this pipe threaded pipe flange so look how we design this and if you like our video please subscribe our channel for more video and project thanks for watching so look how we create and design in solid works so it looks better and here uh, in last uh, we apply the threaded to this flange so here we design this one so go to the file now select part okay better to uh, select right plane so select the right plane now select right plane is a sketch normal and here create two circles from this center point so create one and second one okay now go to the smart dimension and select the outer uh, 33 diameter and the inner and go to the smart dimension now select inner circle and make it 90 diameter okay now here we are uh, extrude this uh, sketch from this mid plane so select this mid plane and uh, make the extrude this one 88 mm and make sure it is uh, extruded from this mid plane okay now here we create this and again we are uh, create this sketch so select this face right click sketch normal and again we are uh, create the circle so go to the circle now from this origin point create one circle up to here okay now again we select the circle and create circle up to here so make sure it is tangent to this inside circle okay and uh, make the outer circle 62 diameter okay now here is time to extrude so go to the features and uh, select the extruded boss base and extrude uh, this one 8 mm and make sure it is a uh, reverse direction and here do one thing we make the offset of this sketch 2 mm inside so go to the offset select 2 mm and make it reverse okay so here we are create this uh, sketch uh, extruded boss base now it's uh, better to select mirror so go to the mirror command now here we select right plane and select this flange so it comes this side and uh, here we uh, create the top side so here it's better to create a uh, so here we uh, first we apply the fillet to this corner of radius 2 mm so select this one and this one and make it 2 mm radius now here we are uh, create the fillet again we are uh, create the plane so go to the plane and it will ask first reference so select top plane and here we are uh, create the plane from this top plane 46 mm above this top plane so here we create this plane now select a sketch and make it normal and here also we create two circles from this origin point so select first and second one okay now go to the smart dimension and make it 33 diameter and uh, second circle will be 19 diameter inside okay now here we uh, make the extrude to this sketch and here it's better to create uh, uh, make the condition up to next so here we select up to next so it will comes to this position so look how we do this okay now make it normal 
and hide this plane again select this face right click sketch normal and here also create two circles so select this origin point and create the circle up to here again we select this circle and make the circle up to here make sure it is tangent to this uh, inside circle and equal to this circle so make the outer circle 62 diameter okay now here we uh, make the extrude to this sketch 8 mm so go to the extruded boss base and make this uh, extrude 8 mm and here we uh, make the offset 2 mm inside so it comes inside okay now exit this sketch now here we uh, apply the fillet to this face 2 uh, mm radius so look again we uh, apply the material so go to the appearance and here it's better to select nickel and select the brush nickel so it looks much better okay now here we apply the fillet to this edge 3 radius 3 mm and select the this one also select this one and also select the top ones so it not selected again we go to the fillet and select this one okay so here we apply the fillet again we go to the fillet and select this edge and make the fillet 14.5 mm so select this one and select this one also so here we apply this fillet again we select this face right click sketch and here we forget to uh, cut this uh, part so we cut this portion so go to the circle now select and make sure it is tangent to this circle and here we uh, go to the features and select the student cut and here make sure the condition will be up to next so it cuts uh, to up to next uh, this body so it is completely uh, cut this part here we select up to next ok now here we see a section view look how we cut this portion ok here we make this normal again we make the chamfer of uh, 1 mm and 45 degree so select this face this flange face and this one so it will be selected ok <coughs> now again select this face right click sketch and here we make the uh, circular cut for threaded bolt nut and bolt so select the circle and uh, change the circle to uh, con first we uh, apply the diameter of this circle and make it 46 diameter ok now here we uh, select this circle and make it for construction purpose ok and here we uh, create circle from this origin point create one circle up to here go to the smart dimension and make it 5.5 .5 diameter and here we are create four number of this circle and uh, it is a uh, equal distance so here better to uh, create circular pattern now select this circle and here tick tick this uh, equal spacing 
so it's come equal position okay and we give the number of intensity will be 4 here go to the feature now select student cut and make the student cut up to next so make the condition up to next it applies and works better okay and here we uh, create this uh, same cutout so it's better to we create mirror feature so go to the mirror now select right plane and feature to mirror so select this student cut okay now look how we cut this again we select this top face right click sketch normal and here we are again select the circle and create the circle up to here okay go to the smart dimension and uh, make it 46 diameter okay and here we uh, change this uh, circle to <coughs> convert entity not convert entity we select the construction purpose only okay and here we are uh, select the circle and we create the circle up to here and make sure it is a vertical to this center point okay and make the dimension 5.5 mm now here we make the uh, circular pattern of four number so go to the circular pattern here entity to pattern so simply select this circle a smaller circle and here we need four number of this circular pattern okay now we make the stud cut and make the uh, condition up to next okay here look how we cut this portion also now here it's time to uh, create the thread so go to the whole wizard and select thread feature and it will ask the thread location so simply select this uh, edge where we create the threaded okay and here we uh, select the length of this thread so we keep 20 mm thread length will be 20 mm and we make the type this and here we uh, make the offset so we create the offset 5 mm and make the uh, condition matrix die and the sizes will be 18.1.5 so look how we cut this and convert into threaded feature so again we create the th same threaded so it's better to create the mirror so go to the mirror and select this thread and here we stick this geometric pattern okay so look how we create this threaded opposite direction okay now it's time to apply the thread on this top flange so again go to the whole wizard select thread and it will ask thread location so simply select this edge okay and here we uh, create offset 5 mm and make it reverse and here it's time to uh, select the maintain thread line so it's uh, cut uh, 20 mm thread and select the mirror profile mirror horizontally so it's cut this part and convert into threaded so look how we create so it's better to apply the threaded features student card fillet uh, student feature student cut how to apply fillet chamfer and many more so here we see the section view of this uh, threaded flange so guys i hope you in we will enjoy this tutorial thanks for watching